Hello, and we're back with another episode of Basketball Enthusiast. And today, we're going to ask a couple of questions concerning the 76ers and just the NBA um, as a whole. So, Basketball Enthusiast, we're going to start with this question. Why didn't the Nets and the 76ers pick up or sign more 3 and D players? Well, the, the, the general managers for both the Nets and the, the 76ers could have picked up more 3 and D wing players on their basketball team. The Nets have one in... James Johnson, the 76ers have one in the T Stiebel, but you need multiple players like that to win a championship. When, especially in this modern NBA, it's been proven. You need multiple players to do that. And neither team has enough of them, which is why they're at the bottom defensively as a team. And that's going to be a problem come to playoffs because in the playoffs, you have to be able to get stops defensively, and if you can't, then they're not going to go far in the playoffs. Okay. All right. Uh, the next question we have here is, are are these basketball players or that are being drafted, are they being grateful to make the NBA, do you feel like, or do you feel like, oh, um, they have a team or a specific team team or city that they would like to play for and do you how do you feel about that um i'm 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 sure there are plenty of teams that have destination i'm excuse me i'm sure there's plenty of players who had destinations before they got drafted to whether it's la and new york or you know maybe miami but um but but a lot of the but a lot of the guys for the most part should be grateful for even making the league because there are so many guys who don't get the opportunity to make the NBA because they've, you know, either they've gone down the wrong path or, or maybe they had a back or a leg or um, a knee injury that kept them from making the league. So there are a lot of guys who are looking at them saying they wish they were in their positions of making, being in the NBA and making the money that they make because there are plenty of people who have dreams of making it to the league, but they never make it. So the ones that did, so the ones that um, that did make it, I was thinking, I was thinking of Zion, for example. Like Zion, I'm I'm sure he probably wants to be on the Knicks, but um, but being on the Knicks, then there would be a lot of pressure on him. Like you know, we we do know the Knicks are not the um, you know they're not the Lakers. They haven't won championships in like. In a long time, but I mean, pressure in the standpoint of being in a large market where a lot of the fans are very, you know, as Laker fans are, they're very critical. So whether, you know, guys give effort or not, Zion will hear that from um, Knicks fans. And, 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 but also his, his main concern should be is staying healthy because we, because that's the major thing. It doesn't really matter what team he's on, whether he's on the, whether the Pelicans would have sent him to the Knicks, hypothetically speaking, or to the Spurs or anywhere else. His health needs to be the main key because no team isn't going to want a player that's um, that that they can't trust is not going to be able to play half the games. It wouldn't make sense to give him. And that's another thing. Zion's looking for a big max contract, and but he's going to have to prove to his organization that he can stay healthy. Okay. Okay, one more question. Um is do you think the media is biased against some players? Mm -hmm. Um, just you know, in general, because it seems like some of some are being more um promoted than others mm -hmm. in certain yeah. areas. Mm -hmm. Yes, I yes I do think in some instances in a lot of cases, not even some, in a lot of cases there is. Because going back to the NBA's top seventy-five team, Dwight um, Dwight Howard, in my opinion and a lot of people's opinion, should have made the All NBA, should have made excuse me top seventy-five. Um, you 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 know we all know his history with you know the late great Kobe Bryant, 
how they, you know, they were supposed to work together and be the next dynamic duo for the Lakers, but for whatever reasons, things didn't happen. And I feel a lot of people hold that against him. But um, but despite that, Dwight was a great, he was the best center, arguably, for uh, I think it was 10 or 8, it was, excuse me, it was either 8 or 10 straight years where Dwight was the best big man in the league. He has three or four defensive player of the years. You know, feel free to correct me, anybody, in, our, um, in the comments below. But Dwight has 10 or, um, excuse me. Dwight has three or four defensive player of the year awards, and he won those awards for a reason because he was an excellent defender. So, so, but some people seem to let certain moments in guys' careers cloud their judgment. But Dwight Howard, to me, should have definitely made the team. I don't understand why he didn't make it. But, um, but you know, when it comes to certain guys, they tend to overlook certain things, and they. And the and the media seems to favor more guys than others, cause even be, because even with the um, even with the MVPs in the past, where where guys like Michael Jordan, where um, with guys like Michael Jordan, for example, who had had great seasons pretty much every single year he played, but he never received the award because of you know um, people were tired of giving it to him, but. If Michael Jordan deserved it and worked hard for it, I mean, I don't see why he didn't get the MVP. I'm I'm not saying he should have had eight or nine MVPs, but I think he he could have easily had six. And um and um and Giannis now is seems he seems to be in that um he seems I had um put a comment I had put a comment recently where um where I was saying I believe Giannis is now in the LeBron and Michael Jordan category where people are gonna look at him and say, Well, you know, he's he's playing great basketball and stuff, but um but they just can't give him the award, you know. It's time for somebody new to get it. And and um and either way this seat and this season's race is very tight, is a very tight race. You have Nikola Jokic who's doing excellent for the Denver Nuggets. He's carrying his team. Um, you have Joel and B, what he's going through in Philadelphia, he's carrying his team. So all three of those guys have very impel excuse me, have very strong cases for the MVP. So you could give it to either one of those guys, but I but in in my personal opinion, I wouldn't be upset if Joel and B got the award. I feel he deserves it. You know, even though some people are gonna say he has James Harden, but we can't forget about the games where there was no James Harden and Joel Embiid was leading his team to, um, I'm, I believe his team was third or fourth in the East at one point before Harden even got there, which was very impressive. He was, and Joel had plenty of games where he had 30 and 10 or 30 and 15, and he was leading his team all along, all the way around. There's plenty of games that they wouldn't have won if it wasn't for Embiid. So I feel he personally deserves it but you know that's just my opinion okay so um that basically sums it up for um today's episode of um basketball enthusiasts we hope that you enjoyed the content and um like and subscribe to our channel thank you so much see you next time